Trump is back in South Florida tonight, and with his visit comes a protest. Dozens of people demonstrated outside a luxury hotel where the president made an appearance. CBS 4's Kerry Codd joins us live from Palm Beach. Kerry. Ruta Bay, when President Trump arrived at the Four Seasons Resort here on Palm Beach tonight for a Republican National Committee event, there was a vocal and angry crowd of about 60 people here to greet him. It was a stark contrast to the reception the president received when he arrived near his home just hours earlier. No Donald Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. Dozens of protesters gathered outside the ritzy Four Seasons Resort on Palm Beach Friday evening ahead of President Trump's arrival. They chanted and carried signs showing their disdain for the president and his policies. I think he's putting people in charge of our, our country and our government who are not qualified. Aside from he is not qualified. As the president's arrival for a Republican National Committee event became imminent, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies demanded that the crowd move back. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. You have one minute to move. Stop down the road. Let other dogs, or you will be arrested. Deputies in riot gear walked toward the protesters and forced them back to an area where the Secret Service said they could set up. Why are you always protecting the bad guys? Our cameras captured the woman in the center of the screen being led away by deputies. A short time later, the presidential motorcade drove in as deputies made sure the protesters remained back. It was a much different scene at Palm Beach International Airport Friday afternoon when the president arrived to cheers. Several dozen supporters waited for the president's motorcade as it headed towards Mar-a-Lago. We appreciate what President Trump is doing on behalf of Americans. Miriam Esposito believes in the president. If we want to all go back to work, and if we want our borders secure, and if we want the inner cities to have good schools and, you know, and be able to have employment, then we all need to come together behind him and support him. And he's just turning back the clock. But others, like Charles Holbrook from Delray Beach, fear the president will gut environmental regulations, bow to Russia, and take America backwards. But every time he's down here, myself and my friends will be here to let him know that we're here, we're watching him, and we're concerned. We are told that one person was arrested, another person detained, and the president's trips to South Florida likely to continue. CBS News reporting tonight that so far during his time in office, the president has spent 31 percent of his time at Mar-a-Lago. Live on Palm Beach, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Carrie, thank you.